Okay, so to start out today, we're going to be making a uh, cough syrup with only two ingredients, and that is onion and honey. So it's really simple, and I'm going to show you what to do uh, right now. We're going to start off by cutting up some onions. So onions are very, very good for medicinal reasons and helping us to get strong and healthy and also for healing. And honey is um, antibacterial. It's really good for sore throats, for making syrups. And these are things that I always tend to have on hand. Kind of a must have in the, in the country home when you're not so close to the stores. What I'm gonna do is we just got a mason jar and without crying, <laughs> we're going to put these onions in here. So what our purpose is here is we're just gonna layer onion, honey, onion, honey. Ooh, that is a strong onion. scoop of honey in here. It's okay if it gets on your hands or we just clean it up. Not a big deal. Like I said, this is a really, this is really easy. And we're just going to continue. So basically you can choose how much syrup you want to have. I like to try and fill it up as much as I can. And then what we're going to do after this is we're going to let it sit for about 24 hours, just on, just on your, you know, on your counter, room temperature. And then we'll end up straining it. I'm going to add another onion. It's really simple and it's actually really tasty. We do this quite often if we have sore throats or just, you know, not feeling well, you know, or if you got some phlegm. I mean, this is good to take at any time, but. My eyes are watering. Whew. Guess I needed a good cry today. Whoo, whoo. messy because I can't see because all this tears. All right. Okay, we're going to put some more honey in there. This is so good that my daughter actually asked for it when she's not even sick at all. And as you can see it there, it's coming along quite well. After 24 hours of sitting out on your counter at room temperature, we'll strain out with a strainer all the onions. So you'll just be left with the onion juice and the honey. And you could take, you know, a tablespoon of this a few times a day, every two to three hours, really as much as you want. There's no harm in this at all. That's the great thing about home remedies. There's no side effects generally. All right, so we're just gonna push that down a little bit just so I can put a little bit extra in there. I think that's all the onion I'll use. So, you know, that was about four onions, four small onions, cooking onions. Use whatever you have on hand though. And this is supposed to last they say for up to a year in your fridge. Now, I've never had it go that long. Um, we've used it up in that time. But I have had it last like six to nine months. And it was still fine. 
and you just keep using it. So usually in the in the winter, we kind of have this on hand all the time. Okay. And children love it. So it's not an issue definitely with that. Okay, you can kind of see I've got the layer of the uh, the onion and the honey. And over 24 hours, it's really just going to turn to liquid. And so you're just getting the juices from the, the onion and you're getting the sweetness of the honey. And it's, it's tasty, I'm not going to lie. And that's it. It's so easy to make. It takes no time at all. And uh, I'll just pop that lid on there. And we are just going to leave it, and we're just going to leave it sitting on our table for 24 hours. And then uh, we'll see how it looks. Okay, so it's been about 24 hours approximately, and this is what the honey and onion syrup now looks like. You can see that all the liquid has gone to the bottom. The onions are pretty much soft, and it's turned into pretty a watery kind of thing syrup so we're just gonna now we're just gonna take it and we're gonna strain it out all the onions So we're just going to make sure we get all those good juices out of the onions. This is quite similar to what we do for our homemade um, elderberry syrup. Uh, if you haven't seen that video, we can put a link um, to that video. And you can see how we make our own elderberry syrup, which is quite similar to this one. So we're just going to make sure that we get all that juice out of there. Just a lot of great properties in onions and in honey. Like I said, this is so simple and you can have it on hand. Uh, we've had it last for between six and nine months in our fridge. And again, you just want to take a couple tablespoons at a time. And you can take it, you know, as often as you need to. Like I said uh, in, in the earlier, in the video, um, you know, you can use as many onions and as much honey as you want. And I chose to fill up this jar completely. And now I'm only getting about a quarter of the jar. So if you want to make a larger amount, just uh, grab a larger mason jar and do a bigger batch. But I find this one lasts, you know, we don't use it all in one at once with one cold or flu or whatever. So it lasts quite a long time. So this is enough for us, for a family of three. And that's it. That's how easy it is. We'll just put the lid on. And now we will be placing it in the fridge. So just anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you'll give some of these natural remedies a try. And uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.